a sluggish laptop can be very annoying. I mean, very annoying. Time consuming too. This 970 Evo can be just what you're looking for. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nikos and in this video I'm answering a question from somebody who watched my recent video on installing a hard drive, the RAM and of course the Wi-Fi card on the XPS 9570 from Dell. Now that is a laptop I've been using and of course I've gone and upgraded everything so that I can have a more efficient computer as it is getting older. And a lot of the time people will uh, purchase a laptop, it will be good at the beginning and then it will start to slow down as time goes on and they will do the regular things like installing Windows again, uh, clearing everything, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, they'll still see some sluggish performance and the reality of it is uh, in most cases it's going to be the RAM, it's going to be the hard drive and you're going to look at those two which is pretty much the two things you can't change in most laptops and you're going to say to yourself well what should i be updating it with now in that video i go extensively in how to do it i'll leave the link below um, in this video i'm just going to cover the numbers it's going to be a quick video so i can get and uh, to the answer so we you guys can make a better decision when you are upgrading your drives now my Dell XPS 9570 is a good laptop. When I purchased it, it was the top of the line um, for its class. You could have picked from the different manufacturers, of course, but it is an expensive laptop and there are some issues with it. Now, from the idea that you're paying 2000 plus, you would expect that things would be a little bit better. Uh, this is the drive that comes with it. It is the uh, SK Hynix, and this is just a drive that, you know, is the quality isn't there. Let's put it this way. And when you purchase one of these laptops, you're expecting a little bit better. Now, that being said, when I upgraded to something like this, the 970 Evo, this was in the back of my mind. What do I mean by this? Well, I researched the laptop. I knew it was coming with one of these crappy drives. I did. Um, but like all the laptops that I've purchased in the past, they all come with crappy drives. So you sit there and you go, okay, I know it's coming with a crappy drive. What can I do with it? And what is the length of life I'm going to have with that? I went and researched this and then I looked at what can I replace it with? And of course the 970 Evo that I've used before. I know this drive is good. Anything from Samsung has been good to me. And when I did have an issue, I got it like replaced rather quickly. They were really supportive and it was like no downtime for me. Uh, on that note, you look at the laptop that you're going to be purchasing, and I always recommend people to look at that hard drive, what's in there beforehand, check out all the specs, so you know what you're going to be buying. At the same time, you want to be looking at the RAM and what is capable for the upgrade, and of course, uh, you know what kind of Wi-Fi card is coming in there, because the upgrades are going to be able to be made by you if you wish to do so. Now, there are many drives out there for you to purchase. You need to do your due diligence, do your research, and see what is best. I went with the 970 because I know it. Now, there are other drives out that are better than this, that are Gen 3. And, of course, the 980 was just released, not the 980 Pro, the 980. And that one has better caching on it, so it should be a quicker drive. I will be purchasing that to test it out. But, I mean, I'm going to find it on sale, and I'm going to be replacing the 970 in this laptop. And then this 970 is going to go into an external device, so I can use that with my uh, video shoots. On that note, I'm going to jump into the numbers, so you can take a look at what is the difference there. And and then uh, be able to make a better decision for yourself. Now, before we jump into these numbers, I just want to make a note, a new install of Windows was made for both of these drives. The SK Hynix is on the left and the Samsung 970 Evo is on the right. And what we do see here is a significant increase in speeds when it comes to the sequential, and that's almost a thousand megabytes per second. And uh, this is both on the read and the right. And to be fair and honest with my experience, I have noticed a significant difference in any kind of drives when the write is moving at a quicker pace now the read is always good to be super high and what we do see with all the drives is you know the the read is always going to be a little bit higher than the right we do want to look at the random and the random is significant as well and this is where you're going to see more of a difference with any drive if the random is higher then you will have more smaller writes happening to the drive which makes the system run a little bit faster especially if it's windows doing random activity you have any software running it's just going to make everything move that much quicker. What we do see with the IOPS is that there is a significant difference with the reads and it is like like night and day. 
the rates is still quicker and I did do some tests here and I did get this up to like 300 and some of them you're going to average in and around that uh, 275 to that 295 mark. And uh, here on the Hynex, I was getting around 200,000 every time. The idea again becomes, what is the system doing and how is the system handling all of this? And when you're seeing a faster drive and the speeds are significant here, this is where you want to really put into perspective the idea that things will be moving quick, efficiently with a better drive. And at that, you do have that security of having a better drive in there compared to what comes in the laptop. When you're crossing that $2,000 mark on a laptop, I shouldn't be seeing numbers like this. When I know on the market, I can see numbers like this. Um, I will be uh, purchasing the 980 uh, Evo that came out. Uh, not the Pro, the 980 Evo. I have purchased on the 980 Pro and did uh, some tests on that. I'll leave the link below. But the 980 came out. It is a Gen 3. It has better caching uh, than the 970. And clearly, we'll be seeing a comparison with the drive. So with the 970 to see if, if it is really that much more impressive and worth the money. Um, I'm just buying it because like, I know I'm going to be keeping this laptop for a while. And I, I thought, hey, why not uh, give it a try and see where we can get those numbers? Because if I can get this number up to that 3,000, you know, 200, 300 mark, uh, it will make the laptop uh, be running even more efficient because the random will clearly be better with the cache. With all that being said, you might be asking, well, Nico, what if I find a cheaper drive out there? Well, I have a P1 right here. This is from Crucial. It's been replaced by the P2. It is an okay drive. It's not that fast, but it does the job. And it's better than the SK Hynix that come with the uh, Dells. But of course, I'm looking at it and saying, well, how much big of a jump am I going to get? And is it going to be significant enough for me to justify the dollar value? And at that, will security come to mind when I'm using a product like Crucial? For me, it's been good i had one corrupt drive from crucial uh they're pretty good with the warranty so hey that's pretty cool but at the same time you're sitting there and going well should it have crashed that fast in my opinion no now the samsung um the it's just right there the security is there for your products especially with something that's been tested and uh tried like over and over. Now, I did test the 980 Pro, the Gen, Gen 4 version. I'll leave that link below for you guys. So you can go check out what I found with that. I know there's been some updates with the firmware. So it should be at the quality we're expecting from Samsung by now. But I ended up going with Western Digital because the test just came out that much better for me. When you're looking at the Gen 3, Gen 4, I did, as I was doing the testing, did have a question come in from somebody about putting a Gen 4 drive in this laptop since they're finding them on sale. And they're like, well, I'm probably going to be upgrading next year. So I will be making another video on, hey, what if I put a Gen 4 drive in here? What are the speeds I'm going to get? I'll leave that video link below as I pump that one out and I do the testing for it. And basically, the idea there would be, is that, uh, that investment worth it? to keep the drive for a year in your Gen 3 and then jump over to uh, a new laptop and have that Gen 4 in the newer computers that are going to be, going to be coming out. Uh, in my opinion, if you're within that $50 range, no matter what, I think that's worth it. You are going to uh, probably like have the max speeds that you can get out of your laptop on that Gen 3 with a Gen 4 drive. That being said, I'm going to have the tests on that so that I can give you a more accurate um, uh, informative uh, decision making process so you can make the right decision when you go and purchase your next drive. I hope this video was helpful. Leave a comment below on the drives that you have upgraded your laptops with. What was beneficial? What wasn't? What would you do again? What you wouldn't do again? And of course, leave a like and a subscribe so that uh, you see more of these videos and you help me out with the algorithm.